Hello from the iSolutions lab. Wanted to show you an example of machine learning integrated in with FileMaker, but this time around, we're not gonna focus on the new core ML support that was just introduced into the FileMaker platform in version 19, but instead we're gonna look at an API-based uh, machine learning model that is not a vision model, uh, that is a general model or a text model. And what, what I'm gonna do is actually show you how you can integrate this in by integrating an API. I was turned on to this tool just recently called Monkey Learn, and you can go check out Monkey Learn, and you can set yourself up with a free account, and you'll see that they have all these demo models that you can play around with. Some of them, like sentiment analysis, might be familiar to you, or even uh, language classifier. But what I wanted to focus on was uh, for this demonstration was one that's called Summary Extractor, which is actually one of their templates. So the principle behind summary extractor is that it takes long verbose language and then summarizes it. So you'll see here on the right hand side, it's this long article that is then summarized by the value here. So very you know interesting machine learning model. And the use case that I came up with is I'm gonna have it so that you can forward a really long email over to this model and then the model will summarize it for you and send you the email back. Now I'm gonna use FileMaker and I'm even gonna use Claris Connect to do so. So uh, each one of these models that you see over here on Monkey Learn has API documentation, and I uh, urge you to go check out the API documentation so that you know how to integrate this into FileMaker. So what I've done is I've created a database that has a couple different fields on it. The first field is the actual long form data. So from my tests, I could just copy and paste something into this field. I would then run a script that I'll show you in a second, and it would output the data that you see here in the summary. Specifically, I'm getting it back in the form of this JSON and then just using native FileMaker JSON functions to parse that data out. So really the principle as far as FileMaker is concerned was easy. Do an input area to store the data that's being uh, extracted or summarized and then another field where you can actually see the summary. So then what I did is I created a script and I've, you know, I'm kind of truncating some of it on purpose just to not reveal any authorization codes or anything. But uh, what I'm doing is setting the JSON data, and that one's pretty simple. Just go in here and uh, take the contents of the field called long form and set it into a JSON element uh, as a JSON string. I then uh, set my curl values, which includes the authorization code, and this is information that I received from the documentation on Monkey Learn. And then the URL is the URL that I got that speaks directly to this summary extractor. And then I use insert from URL, and I'm gonna save this information to a variable, and that variable down here is where I can actually uh, use the JSON format elements to kind of pretty print up that JSON. I then set another value to the parsed value, and that is the value that's coming back from the element that was returned that I saved to the variable, and I'm using this function here to actually parse that data out. And then I just go and I set that to uh, various fields. So if we take a look at how that works, for example, I could extract, let's say I go in here, and I just have this long article, and you see this long article here on the right-hand side. I'm gonna go and run the script, and you'll notice that this was the JSON that was returned from the machine learning model or uh, via the API, and this is the summary. So that's the principle behind this, and what I did is I extended it a little bit further. I wanted to be able to send an email over to uh, an email, a special email address that would then return this back summarized for me. So what I did in that case is I went into another application and set up a demo account in MailParser. I chose MailParser because it's one of the connectors that's supported currently as I record this inside the Claris Connect platform. And one of the things you can do on incoming emails is set up parsing rules. So I set up a rule that simply identifies the body of an email and then the email address of the sender. And then it gives me a special email address that I've got here and I can send to this special email address and it'll send back to me a summarized version of this. So if we take a look at the Claris Connect flow that I created, this is the mail parser where I'm saying the trigger here is that a new email was received. And then once that new email is received, I'm actually sending a variable using step data for the body of the email that was sent and the email, that was, uh, the email address that was sent from. Then I go and I create a record in my hosted just the facts file. After that record is created, I then save the record ID for that record, and I edit it by simply adding a, a, a value into the long form field. I then execute the script that I just showed you a second ago to, to go communicate with the machine learning model. 
And then I go get a record by ID, which is the record ID that I stored when I created it. And I pull the value that was uh, in the summary field uh, into my flow. Then I use the email that we grabbed as a variable up here to send this email back to the sender with their summary included. So for example, you can see down here, I'm sending back the contents of the summary field and sending it back to the uh, email address. So if we take a look at how that works, I will just send this email that you see here over to my special email address that I set up in MailParser. And we hear that it was sent and then I'll check my email. So here's the email that I get back. It's now summarized and you'll see that it had actually created a fifth record in my database. So here's the data that I sent over to it. Here's the, the data that the, the API sent back to it. And then we sent an email back to the original sender with that summary in it. So a little bit of fun with machine learning. Again, the real power of machine learning is that it can be very subtle and can run in the background. And a use case that I thought might be fun uh, because I know some folks that don't like reading long emails and thought maybe this would be a fun little way to uh, show people how you can use machine learning to just, uh, in this case, summarize long form emails. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks for tuning in.